I don't care. I'm gonna fight this. Uh, just for fun. This I'm probably gonna screw up my entire campaign, but I don't care. I was not... I don't know. F uh, fuck it. Seriously. Just fuck it. Let's see what happens. Just because I want to. I'm gonna be screwed. Gonna enjoy. Uh, at least I'm gonna enjoy seeing a shit ton of stacks here spawning, and um, seeing them fighting, fighting them. I'm gonna enjoy that. Okay, let's unseach that. This is a very uh, high development. chunk of this minus 42% war score is from Brandenburg. Of course I've lost my capital. And uh, my... I have very little up, very little. Chance of actually turning this around with so many people stockpiling me at the same time. gonna give them rebel hell come on reduce this fort from falling there we go that's more like it Enjoy as um, I could even hire a dude that give the, give them um, discipline, but then I would lose the morale myself. So. Clock is ticking, and it's not on on my not it's not on their side. It's on my side. But I'm gonna ruin my economy in the process. I cannot move there. Yeah, I can. That's mountains, that would be silly.
Come on, now you're usually giving me a shit ton of rebels, now why don't you give them some rebels? 31 unrest everywhere? Seriously? Goddamn luck. Okay, can I release more rebels? Not yet, 13th of December. Very well, but by by deciding not to release Naj, I screwed up my entire campaign because I forgot that I was at a low diplo reputation. Not because I declared war on someone or nothing. No, because the, of a more or less hidden hidden rule regarding the acceptance of cult, the cult of arms. I think I'm gonna have fun seeing these dudes fighting an, a, a gigantic wave of rebels. At least that's what I'm trying to do. And I uh, could have been doing this. Unfortunately, these dudes are now... Um, are now not loyal. Let's go take more stuff. Yeah, sure. to take that to our goal, to uh, try to peace out with Russia. This will probably get some of these guys stuck, due to my vassal swords, but not many of them, if any at all, because Austria holds most of the forts. So I think this is lost, but um, I don't know. Just want to see these rebels in action. some more, it's only money, right? Some more score too. Okay, let's see. December, but some of them we can actually do it in November. Just need to remember which ones. problem.
surprisingly Brandenburg hasn't pissed out yet. Which is very, very surprising to tell you the truth. Rebel Hell is about to start. Can't wait. Okay, let's select... A small base stacks one. Because that's gonna spawn a small stack, but enough to make to piss them off. Like... Ugh, crap. Okay. We should have pissed them off. So, local autonomy everywhere. Who the fuck cares? It's a shame that these guys are gonna fight each other two rebels against rebels, which is which is bad, but maybe we are lucky and they won't, won't fight each other, I don't know. be fun to watch at least at least for me this is my game i do this for myself so okay it's gonna be a, a nice destruction for a while but i doubt it's gonna be enough because these are very weak stacks very small they actually fight well, but they're small. It's gonna be a pain if uh, these rebels end up fighting each other. But if I don't do this, the noble rebels will siege the provinces and, and I won't be able to do what I'm doing, so yeah. They're probably gonna end up fighting each other. Okay, finally. That's, that's some progress. the progress. Let's go take care of that. That's the war goal from this war. Take the provinces back. At least we'll have provinces from where to train troops. It would help tremendously if these dudes spawn some rebels because they are always bugging me with rebellions but now they don't want to spawn rebels. Which is quite interesting. Let's hope these guys don't fight each other. Very unlikely, but one could hope. I 
local autonomy everywhere, but who the fuck cares, right? Yeah, this is all under siege, at least this one. It's gonna cost you Austria. It's also gonna cost you. If we take the war goal, this dude's enthusiasm should start to go down. Because the strength of the alliances is, is on our favor, and the war score will be on our favor too the moment we take that back. I think. I think well. What I would like to do is to pick up. Nice. Just what I needed a stability hit on top of everything else. Crap, did I just go bankrupt and didn't notice? Oh shit. Ah. It happened just like that, no notice. Oh fuck. This was not on my plans. Ah, shit. Just screwed up. Um, so now I can uh, now I can uh, answer to the chat. These guys give me 10% local autonomy. It means nothing. If I put uh, if I put uh, a state here, problem solved. No, I don't have a backup save game. I have a backup from yesterday or so that was supposed to go to Paradox due to a bug. That's the backup that I have. I didn't get any pop-up saying that I was gonna get bankrupt, did I? Did I miss it? These rebels, this, this, this over here would buy me time to decrease the or enthusiasm of these dudes as time passes by. It, it was gonna happen because the moment um, Brandenburg pieces out. This war score that's at minus 32 would go to minus 10 or 15 or something like that. So Berlin minus 3%, blah blah blah. All of it, all most of this is. Um, only 4.5 from Constantinople. But guess but I guess with the bankruptcy I'm I'm fucked so no, nothing I didn't see it seriously. I I didn't see the warning. Because if I saw the warning I would get rid of some of these troops. I knew this was gonna affect my income a lot, but not enough to screw up screw me up. You saw it, so you should have warned me, man. I didn't see it, I was so busy dealing with the... Um, now I don't have another choice. I doubt they'll accept. What do you want now? No, I'm not gonna... Now I'm gonna have to wait for them to kill these. 
The problem is I won't be able to peace out with Russia because I don't have morale. These guys now are... are garbage, I lost all my mercs. And I'm still in a deficit. I was rooting out corruption, that's what... <laughs> that's probably what happened there too. What do you want? Lebanon over there. I was this close to turn this around. The moment I took this province, these guys would probably want a white piece. Now they they don't. Uh, I'm not gonna give them that. Let's see, how about I release Bulgaria or something? Nope. That's not of my culture. the bankruptcy so quickly was because I was rooting out corruption at the maximum when I was attacked by by these all these dudes and I forgot to put the slider back to zero. That's what's caused this uh, abrupt bankruptcy. Of course I lost control of a shit ton of provinces too. But it was too quick. Right now I don't know if I if I can gain something by letting time pass by. Probably not. Anyway, let's go hide this dude somewhere if we can. It all started with the save, with the send gift, yes. It all started with the, when these guys joined the coalition. And because of the gift, Sphinx, they joined the coalition. Actually, they were gonna join the coalition, I sent them a second gift, but they decided to rival me, which screwed my plans to keep them out of the coalition. But that was not the problem. The problem, the primary problem, was that I, um, I was being attacked by a coalition that I was e winning easily, very, very easily. When I was attacked by that coalition, I had very strong allies, the Commonwealth and Austria. They were my allies. They were my allies for over 100 years. It was a very easy coalition war because I quickly defeated them. I had like 50, 50 war score. When when, um, in the meantime, Austria rivaled me. In the during the war, during the coalition war, Austria break broke the alliance and um, became hostile towards me. And uh, declared war while I still I was still being attacked by the coalition. All. Because I had overextension, which screwed my diplomatic reputation, 
my diplomatic reputation was at minus two because of 100% overextension and because of having annexed a few vassals. One, one vassal. So that was enough for Austria, um, an ally for over 100 years, and the Commonwealth, an, another ally for over 100 years, to not accept the call to arms. And um, five years later, or six years later, while I was still fighting the coalition war, it, it must have been six years later, because they broke the alliance, we had the truce, so around six years later, immediately, basically immediately after the truce ended, they decided to join the fun and attack me. I was... I was fairly confident that with this strategy, like I said before, I could stall them, but I didn't notice that this was here. So I'm, I was rooting out corruption at the maximum. This increased my, my debt, my available income, I uh, decreased it. And of course, with the loss of these provinces too, bankrupt bankruptcy would um, follow. But I didn't think it would be so instant. Anyway, this this was a bump, a pretty big bump. If I wanted, I could continue this and uh, revenge, my and have a revenge. But now I'm not gonna do it. I have a shit ton of rebels here. What can I do? Accept demands, increase another 20% local autonomy everywhere. Might as well, they might as well uh, kill the rebels for me. Occupy the fucking, the whole fucking country. They are probably gonna be dogpiled by a second coalition. 